to, and it's been one trillion uh, volume traded on DEXs in 2021. Uh, the Web3 uh, evolves pretty similar to how internet evolved, and in the next several years we will see uh, a whole set of new use cases and over a billion users inside the space. Right now, there is uh, 3.5 million wallets operating in DeFi, and uh, they're using apps made by 350k uh, developers. But every DeFi user uh, has one question, so how much my assets worth? Uh, and this is a question that uh, kicked off there in, uh, in current form. So we thought that there should be a tool where you can just paste your address and then you will be able to uh, instantly get overview over what you have done uh, on blockchain. Zirin consists of three key components. It is DeFi SDK for chain data. Uh, it's available on GitHub uh, and it's open source. It is Zirin API, which essentially is a caching layer for uh, all data that we track and index across multiple blockchains. And it's like mobile and web applications uh, that simplifies user interactions. Uh, so it's basically our user experience layer. So for today's workshop, uh, I want to show you how you can make uh, two main features, uh, two of the most favorite features of Zirin. First is that uh, portfolio overview, and the second one is uh, history tab. Uh, we have a demo application, so you will be able to download it and uh, check it out. But basically what demo app does, it is uh, shown all positions by any address, EVM compatible address, and show history of transactions. It also includes sw swapping functionality, so you can get quotes from uh, most liquidity sources and uh, DEX aggregators. For the workshop, there we will use following tooling. It will be React, uh, DeFi SDK that is available on NPM, uh, DeFi SDK demo as a GitHub repo prepared for by our developers, and Transaction Builder API that allows you to construct various transactions from swap to stake, staking, lending, withdrawing assets from various uh, DeFi protocols. You can access demo application uh, by scanning QR code or going by this link. So um, you can download it and uh, later we will discuss what's, what is there. Documentation for our API uh, available on docs.zirin.io uh, and for transaction builder at transactions.zirin.io slash docs. So, uh, so what's next? Let's get to the terminology of this workshop. Uh, here you can see two uh, main functions, is positions and history. So here's like one position and uh, transaction. And uh, it is key components of uh, our API. We try to abstract away different blockchains and try to make it in a way so users don't need to understand what blockchains they're interacting with inside the user interface. And on the API level, it is also like just a position on a, some blockchain and transaction from, from the blockchain. So let's get to the position. So position consists of asset uh, that user owns uh, balance value uh, available in multiple currencies and change uh, in price and value of the asset. Here you can see the data structure uh, for the for the position uh, for the position. Uh, it is uh, it's available on multiple blockchains, so you can see different implementations. So it's if you if the assets available on one chain, you will also see implementations on other chains as well. Uh, you can see that is it verifi verified, so is this asset in multiple token, token lists or not. You can see protocol that this asset belongs to, and uh, you can see that like a lot of other data is there. 
coming to the swapping functionality. So swap, swapping functionality is something unique in Zerian. So we try to aggregate as much liquidity sources and DeFi aggregators as we can. And uh, in this demo, you, you, you can see how you can fetch uh, quotes from multiple providers within one uh, query. Each quote uh, consists of like the exchange where it happens, uh, network fee, and receive data. You can also see guaranteed output amount, uh, uh, distribution it has user gave allowance previously for these assets to the token spender, essentially the contract. So you can build a nice UX uh, around uh, this data. So, and time to code. And uh, in the demo application, you will see all basic components for described previously. Uh, all of them you can fork, get, get into your application. So you go straight away with positions, transactions. You can check quotes, get history. So it's all done uh, in React. And you use the Sour Device Decay JS library. So you, you, you can see how easy it is to get like all positions, all history, and build nice UX around it. Uh, hopefully du during the Kekton you will find good ways how you can improve uh, user journey with such, uh, with such uh, data and uh, power. So if you have questions, I'm happy to answer them. So if not, thank you for joining this workshop and uh, uh, join our mission, follow us on Twitter, visit our website, download our app, and uh, we'll be happy to see you in our Discord.